All right, it's December 22nd, and I am getting ready to leave to head to Missouri here in about 30 hours. Uh, and I do not have my Christmas letter completed yet. So I was sitting here and I was thinking and uh, happened to pull up a few pictures. Uh, pulled up one of a guy named Reggie, cool kid from Seattle. He uh, and I had one of my favorite YD moments when we were cruising to the Skagit River in our orange raft van. And he popped in a CD of hip hop beats and started freestyling. I gave it a shot and it was pretty bad. But uh, he laughed and we had a great time. So it's one of my, my favorite YD adventure moments I've ever had. Uh, and then also, in honor of one of my good friends, Fred, I thought, you know what? Instead of writing a Christmas letter this year, why don't I just do it in hip hop? So this year, if you're, uh, if you're up for it, and if I'm up for it, I'm going to try share with you through hip hop our past year. All right. Well, here we go. Dear friends and family, Merry Christmas to you from all the crew from me to you, my how the kids grew. I'll try to fill you in about the three men, two ladies and our dogs who wears a diaper, but not a grabber, looks kind of weird. He's got a white beard. Anyhow, the year's been full and fast. With its highs and lows, only God knows how we made it here. Shedding many a tear, having lots of laughs, and paying high for gas. Seen it Stevens pass twice. Well, our biggest was 2008. What took it from good to great on the very special date of February 13th. We arrived at room 103 in Island Hospital's temporary birthday unit. We both stayed to walk, watched the monitor, and waited, but the birth can now continue to stay gated. Until 5.14 p.m., the contractions got stronger, and on top of that, they even got longer. The action in the room began to bloom, started to loom, the baby was on the move at 6 a.m., and he was in the zone. You could tell by the groans and the pushing, three to be exact. Then at 6.16, this little boy popped out into my arms, he gave a little shout, and I placed him on aim, and we gave him the name, Colin McKinley Bryant, and life was good. Uh, for about 18 hours. We had lots of flowers and calls from y'all to the fun and it just got started. Back to the hospital we were forced to go and someone said something about an ambulance flow and the words began to grow. So, calling a name, he went to the newborn ICU. For the hurt and see you at Everett, Providence, and room 206, and IV to Colin was fixed. A week of masks and tasks and jacks. Then on February 20th, he came home for good and we were happy. Well, that was the big one, but there's been lots more fun, and let's continue on with our oldest daughter, Alden. She learned to ride a bike, graduated from the track, managed to get mostly avoid the big wreck until she hit the deck, at least she didn't break her neck. Let's see, she's also started to read, makes faces out of beads, and does a nifty routine. She's five and three quarters, expanding her borders, giving Caleb orders, is simply beautiful. Which leads me to Caleb. Our oldest son is tons of fun, likes to run, and has a docking and chug. He curls still the show wherever we may go, and his smile is a whole body glow. He loves race cars and dinosaurs and not doing chores, but occasionally helps the task so he can get some snacks. But his biggest news is he's no longer got the potty blues. That's right, he's taking it to the toilet. He's going man style. He's not wearing no diaper. He's wearing pull-ups and occasionally even wears some underwear. Check it, check it. Uh. And as for Mr. Colin, well, he's been the ballin' pretty much every night since he came a calling. But on the upside, he started crawling and standing and waving and playing. With his brother and his sister, no, he's not to be missed. We love to give my kids. As for Amy and me, number 10 anniversary. We thank God for his mercy. And some really cool gifts, like a seven couple of college group. New sister-in-law, the final Brian wedding to fall. Our newly rewired house, my wife stepped on a mouse. I haven't eaten grouse uh, that I know of. And the visits from parents. Christmas shows with Clarence and six inches of snow for a week, which is uh, a lot here, all right? Like more than we've ever had. This is uh, ridiculous. Anyway, as for Whitey, there's tons of things new. The arrival of a new president and the departure of a few and a solid mission to which we are true as the training guy, my traveling days taking me to Joshua Tree State in a Smith Rock place where I saw the hand of God. Maybe 
stop and think of the kids and their pain and the life that we claim just for them and for me and for you so that we can be free. And it's good. It's really good. It's really good. Hung it out in the Salmon River with the conflict bringer. His heart was cold, which made him very bold and got a bit old. But he taught me about conflict and which battle to pick and to listen in between the lines. And creation, it was divine. I got on the Owahi to be free as a Panagamafita River Yeti. Saw the simplicity and boys and men step up and claim a promise to be fully alive. There's more to be said, but this beat is flipping my head. So from here to Anacortes, Merry Christmas to you and may God bless you with this greatest gift.